a normal English verbs. I have for you a list of 12 verbs with each five letters. I will describe the verb to you in a short sentence and you have to write the verb down below. Very simple. I describe the verb, you write the verb. Your hint is, thank you for the caps, hiding my hair, appreciate it, Jess. Your hint is, every verb is five letters. I'm not gonna give you any other hints. Your only hint is, the answer is five letters long. I describe the verb, you write the verb. Here we go. If you are the top 10, I will be saying your name. Here is verb number one. What is it? When you are resting with your eyes closed. Resting with your eyes closed. What's the verb I am looking for? None of these verbs will have ing. They are all just normal. Five letter verbs. Resting with eyes closed is of course five, four, three, two, one, sleep or sleeping. Well done to Trinity, Dida, Gisselia, El Blue Coal, Sela, Catherine, Smiley Face, A Little Swallow. You are the first top 10 of today. Well done, Trinity. Good start, good start. So, very simple challenge. What is the verb with five letters? How do you call it? When someone is making a sound when amused. When someone is making a sound when amused. Not just noise, it's a specific noise I am looking for. What's the verb? These are all action words, verbs. What do you call it when someone is making a sound when they are amused? Amused means when they are really happy. A-M-U-S-E-D, amused. When something is funny. They, l, l. You tell me. It's always five letters, guys. Never anything else. Always five letter verbs. Well, you can shout if you're amused, but I'm looking for the ha ha ha. Type it down below. What is the verb? Did I well done making it to number one? Trinity, Leo, Catherine, Blue, Jazz, Institute, Jen, L, Tessa, and Michelle in the top 10. Well done to you. It was, of course, love. Love. L A U G H. L A U G H. Type it down below, I'll still give you the point. A nice today. Laugh or laughing is the sound you make when you are excited or amused in this case. Amused. Well done, here's the next one. What is the five letter verb when you are putting your thoughts on paper? When you are putting your thoughts on paper. A five letter verb, action word. And this is a good English sentence, yes. You can say putting thoughts on paper. Putting our ideas on paper. This is good English. 
How do you call it when you're putting your thoughts on paper? Maybe in a diary, but what are you doing in the diary? Before I said paper, well, I did use the word thoughts. So I wouldn't give you think while I say thoughts. No other hints but the five letter verb. Everything is five letters, guys. Everything is five letters. Putting thoughts on paper. Well done to L. Rania Marmarin. Blue Trinity did I know. Cole, Swish Boy, Sella, and my stuff. It is, of course, right. 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 Write your thoughts down on the paper and you can do well. Well done to you. That is the five letter verb. What is this five letter verb? When you are showing happiness with your lips. How do you call it when you are showing happiness with your lips? That's a weird sound. Interesting. Let me grab a tea bag. I don't have a tea bag. Ah, you are correct. Most of you are totally correct. It is, of course, smile. Well done. Smile when you are showing happiness with your lips. It is a nice rock, a true story. Well on L, once again, Trinity, Ron, Cole, Dida, my stuff, Little Swallow now, Marmarin, Michiel, and Rania in the top 10. Well done to you. Well done to you. What is the five letter verb what is the five letter action word that's the question what do you call it when you are using your brain to ponder what do you call it when you are using your brain to ponder hmm which one shall i pick green tea earl gray fruit tea mango and orange Flower tea? My mom has a lot of teas. My mom does have a lot of teas. Hmm. I think we're gonna pick the mango orange. Mango orange. I don't want to drink a flower. I rather drink fruit. Um how do you call it when you are using your brain to this hot ponder? How do you call it when you're using your brain to ponder? You, of course, call it th 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 something. Daisy, well done making it to number one. Cool. Now, Catherine, Michelle, Peach, Trinity, Dida, my stuff, Novali, uh, Conline Music in the top 10. You are correct. It is, of course, think. Think. When you are using your brain to ponder pondering over things guys p-o-n-d-e-r ponder means you are really really thinking about something you are thinking about a decision to ponder is to think about something inten intensely like you're really really focused on it to ponder well done it was, of course, think. And here is the next one. What five letter verb am I looking for? How do you call it? When you are having thoughts while you sleep. Having thoughts while you sleep. What do you call it? Type it down below. What five letter verb am I looking for? When you are having thoughts while you sleep. What's the verb? That's the challenge. 
Overthinking? Probably. <laughs> it's five letters. Always five letters. It's that simple. How many five letter verbs do you know? Having thoughts while you sleep. How do you call it? This, of course, and you are totally right, is called a dream or dreaming. Dream, both a noun and a verb. You can dream a dream. Well done, Dida, Blue, Peach, Daisy, Marmarin, JT, Smiley Face, Rania, Salameda, and Catherine making it into the top 10. Well done to you. Oh, the next one? A little difficult. This one is a little difficult. I don't know if you know this five letter verb. How do you call it when something is moving slowly without direction? Starting with the letter D. When something is moving slowly without direction starting with the letter d this is actually the hardest one i don't know it's why it's in the middle of the challenge but it's the hardest one i'm gonna help you out it's not drive moving slowly without direction dr dr You are getting it now. Just copy and paste if you don't know is okay. This is a difficult, difficult verb, guys. To move slowly without direction is called to dr dr drift. And I will explain drift because if people are outside there maybe hiking or traveling you can also have a drifter and a drifter is somebody who just goes around without any specific goal or direction like tokyo drift exactly <laughs> exactly like tokyo drift well done cool coffee bear good student rania pal star 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 rose ron peach elizabeth and catherine welcome back to the top 10. that was a hard one that was the hardest one in this challenge i put it in the middle so the next ones are gonna make you feel good again right the next ones are going to make you feel better again <laughs> I can't keep it too easy all the time. Listen up. How do you call it when you are showing displeasure with your eyebrows? How do you call it when you are showing displeasure with your eyebrows? What five letter verb am I looking for? always five letters not blinking blinking is not the displeasure when you are maybe angry or upset how do you call it when you're like what do i call this five letter verb is what i'm looking for but what five letter verb is it when you are showing displeasure with your eyebrows. We, of course, call this to frown. Frown. F R O W N. Frown. This mm, is a frown. Frown. F R O W N. Type it in the comments down below. You get the point for free. Daisy, well done. Trinity, Tau, Dida, Elizabeth, Ron, Michel, Rania, Marmarin, JT, Coffee Bear in the top 10. Well done to you. This is. What's the verb? What is the five letter verb? That is the challenge for today. 
This next one is the second hardest one. But I think you know. Just think about it. What five letter verb am I looking for? How do you call it? When you are holding something tightly in your hands. How do you call it when you're holding something tightly in your hands? A five letter action word is what I'm looking for. Cling is a good one, but it's not cling. Grip is a four letter verb. I'm looking for a five letter verb. Every one of these is five letters. You are correct. Most of you are absolutely right. When you are holding something tightly, really tightly means hard, strong, means firm. Then you are grasping something. Grasp or grasp. Depending on where you are from, you can say grasp, you can say grasp. I'll probably say grasp. I think it sounds better. Um, grasp means holding on tightly. Well done to Dida making it to number one, Peach. And Gal, welcome back to the top 10. L, Mabi, Murfo, Rienti, Daisy, Cole, JT, Coffee Bear in the top 10. Well done to you. I am from the Netherlands, nice to meet you, this is what's the five letter verb. I only have three five letter verbs left for you, so you better pay attention. How do you call it when you are applying color to a surface with a brush? When you are applying color to a surface with a brush, a five letter verb, a five letter action word. What is it? You tell me what the verb is. And if you are in the top 10, I will be saying your name. Well done, well done, well done. Applying color to a surface with a brush is, of course, to paint. Paint. A-I-A, -A, paint. Well done to you. Blue. Finally, the pay to win is coming in. Well done, Murphle, Dida, L, Peach, Catherine, Gal, Michelle, Good Student, Rania, and Coffee Bear. Making it into the top 10. You mistyped, I saw. I saw. All right. All right, Daisy, very funny. You just make sure you learn English because I haven't read your name in the top 10 many times yet. <laughs> it was of course paint, well done. We have two more five letter verbs. Two more five letter action words and we have three more challenges to go. How do you call it? When you are putting a seed in the ground. When you are putting a seed in the ground, like yesterday's story, the little sunflower seed. How do you call it when you're putting it in the ground? A five letter action word is what I'm looking for. Sewing is six letters. How do you call it when you are putting seeds in the ground? It's that simple. You of course call it... You're always late. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You are learning English and that is beautiful. You of course call it to... Pl... Pl... Plant. Yes. Planting something, planting a tree, something like that, absolutely. You can also say plant, if you'd like to. That is solely up to you. Can I teach Australian English? No, not at all. Well done though to Michel, making it to number one, finally. Cole, Rania, Trinity, Murphle, Helen, Now, Catherine, Zara, Peach and Coffee Bear. In the top 10, Coffee Bear, you're always... 
just in the top 10. <laughs> Very nicely done. One more five letter verb. One more five letter verb. Here it is. How do you call it? When you are cleaning the floor with a broom. How do you call it when you are cleaning the floor with a broom? Five letters, one action word. What is the English word I am looking for? Hmm. I have a broom, I use it, but how do I call this movement? How do I call the movement? To s s s the floor. Your mom telling you this to do that? Why are you never doing this? Clean your floor. Use the broom and sw sw sweep the floor every single day. <laughs> Good luck to you. Well done, Blue, coming in again as the MVP. Cool, this close. Well done, Este, Tao, Peach, Dida, Murfel, Helen, Ron, Star, 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 Luan. In the top 10, Daisy, this close. Well done, though. Well done. That was the first short part of the challenge today. Yes. Yes, that was five letter verbs. What do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Five letter verbs. Sleep, laugh, write, smile, think, dream, drift, frown, grasp, paint, plant, sweep. 12 words, very simple, right? You just fell into my trap. You thought that was the first challenge? Five letter verbs? That is nothing more than just a warm up. Because here I have for you, what's the verb? We are gonna continue with what's the verb. However, Every single one of these verbs is between 7 and 13 letters. Here we go. What's the verb? How do you call it? Starting with the letter E. When you are traveling to discover new places. How do you call it? When you are traveling to discover new places. What's the verb? With seven, six, seven letters. Thank you for the elephant, uh, Sela. I appreciate you. I hope I didn't scare you. <laughs> you thought a five letter verb is the whole challenge? Absolutely not. How do you call it when you are traveling to discover a new place with seven letters? You, of course, X, X. What's up, what's up, Ahmed? Please focus on the challenge. You, of course, explore. Well done. Thanks so much, Meta. I appreciate your finger hearts. Thank you for returning the finger hearts. Coming in with a pay to win. Explore. Well done, son. Making it to number one. Misho, Gal, Ellen, Tao, Trinity, Zandy, Peach, Wichka, Mary and Blue. Explore is the verb. You really thought that a five letter verb is all I'm gonna do? Ha ha ha. Absolutely not. Here is the next one. Please mute Ahmed. Thank you. What nine letter verb am I looking for? What nine letter verb am I looking for? What do you call it when you are marking a special occasion joyfully? What do you call it when you are marking a special occasion joyfully? 
For example, it's somebody's birthday and you go there. No ING verbs today, guys. I told you at the start, no INGs today. Simply nine letters. Marking a special occasion joyfully is of course too... How do you call it? What's the nine letter verb? Be right back, see you soon. Highlight is a good one, but I am looking for the more general word that everybody knows, which is of course to celebrate. Well done. An occasion, a special occasion when you are celebrating it. Well done to you. Asia making it to number one. Well done to you, Peach, Coffee Bear, Putin, Catherine, Tao, Mabi, now my staff, Julia, welcome to the top 10, and Gal, well done to you. Christina, thank you for sharing the live stream. Good to see you again. Welcome back, welcome back. To celebrate, we are playing What's the Verb? The next verb has eight letters. The next verb has eight letters. How do you call it? When you are recalling past experiences or facts. How do you call it when you are recalling past experiences or facts? You call it to r r r. How do you call it? Cheers to learning English. Do you remember how you call it when you are recalling past experiences or facts? <laughs> you, of course, call it to remember. Well done, well done, well done. Mabi making it to number one. Congratulations. Fabi number two. Trinity, Murphle, Helen, Skeleton, Asia, Peppa Pig, Ron, Daisy, Christopher in the top ten. Well done to you. Reminiscence. Reminiscence, same meaning. Um, but I try to keep it simple, Coffee Bear. I know your English is A-OK. -okay. But let's use the simple synonyms. Of course I said your name, Fabi. You'll make it to the top 10. I say your name. Um, here we go. Next one. What is the seven letter verb that I am looking for? How do you call it? When you are speaking quietly to someone. How do you call it when you are speaking quietly to someone? You call it to what, what, what? How do you call it? What's the verb? That's the question. What's the seven letter verb starting with a W? To speak quietly to someone, not silently. Silent means zero sound. Quietly means soft sound. How do you call it? To my ex? Excuse me? Don't talk to your ex. Move on. Move on to learning English, okay? Be better. How do you call it when you are speaking quietly to someone? You, of course, call it to whisper. Whisper, well done to you, well done to Peach, well done to you, Skeleton, Asia, uh, Mirai, Tiragon, Murphle, Blue, Elizabeth, My Stuff, Mabi, Muslim Minette, you are in the top 10. Well done to you. X, bye bye X, absolutely. Hey X, Hello. see you later. See you never again. What is the 
eight letter verb that I am looking for. An eight letter action word. How do you call it when you are finding something unexpectedly? When you are finding something unexpectedly or you are you you are in a place nobody has ever been? What is the eight letter verb starting with the letter D? D d d d d d d d what is the eight letter verb for finding something unexpectedly how do you call it with the letter d to d d yeah maybell of course good you guys discovered the right word because it was a discover. Well done to you. Yeah. Please discover a, a new boyfriend, okay? Don't focus on your ex-relations. Well done, Daisy, making it to number one with the pay to win. I mean, well done to you. Dira, Gel, Rania, Musliminette, Peach, Tau, Coffee Bear, Fabi, Helen. In the top ten. Well done to you. Discover or discover. It's up to you what you like to say. You can say discover or discover. I really like to discover. It really depends on your accent. I don't think there's a right or wrong there. But well done to you. Well done to you for knowing these eight letter verbs. Here is another eight letter verb. What's the verb? How do you call it when you are thinking carefully about something you are thinking carefully about um that boyfriend of yours who never pays attention to you who is always playing games and doesn't know how to listen how do you call it when you are thinking carefully about something starting with the letter c and it's an eight letter verb with the letter C. To k k k concentrate is how many letters, guys? 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. Concern, very close. Seven letter word. To concede. Does that help? How do you call it? When you are thinking carefully about something, uh, you, of course, shoot. con -der. Consider. To consider. You can ask people to consider what you are saying. Consider is a difficult verb, but you got it. Well done. Type it down below. You get a free point. Blue coming in at the number one position. She knows. Well done, Tom, Son, Gal, uh, NGOC, Helen, Chainsmokers, Julia, Mabi, Peach, Adorable A. You are adorable, making it to the top 10. Well done to you. You mistyped, that's how it goes. Mabi, thank you for the heart. Enrique, thank you for the rosa. Can I speak slower? Yes, I am going to give you a few more random verbs. Here they are. This is how many letters? Ten. A ten letter verb. What is the verb that I am looking for? How do you call it when you are comprehending a concept or idea? How do you call it when you are comprehending a concept or idea? You can say, I finally, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Does that help? I finally, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Thank you for 666 viewers. Please keep it on 666 because we like 666. How do you call it? When you come, you, when you are finally comprehending a concept or idea, 
It's like you're practicing English and this grammar has been bothering you. And then you're like, oh, I finally understand. Well done to you. What is idea? Idea. Sorry, I just have a rolling R camera guy. I like to show off. Well done. It is, of course, to understand. Blue, Asia, camera guy, Murphle, Fabi, now, Giselia, Tao, Art, Mageddon, nice name, Ron, and Dot. Well done to you. It is, of course, to understand. Considering pay to win? <laughs> You should consider. Well done. Well, you're using the vocabulary. Nicely done. All right. I have five more verbs for you. And that is all the verbs for today. Five more verbs for you. This one has eight letters. An eight letter verb is what I'm looking for. 69,000 likes is what I'm looking for. Make the likes like the viewers, okay? Listen up, here we go. How do you call it when you are inquiring to seek information? <sighs> inquiring is the difficult synonym for this verb. How do you call it when you are inquiring to seek information? I can't really give you the first letter. It's too easy. All right, the first letter is the letter Q. What verb, what action word starts with the letter Q? Q, 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 Qua, Qua, Qua. How do you call it when you are inquiring to seek information? To question. Well done to you. Question, noun and a verb. You can question a question. <laughs> You can answer an answer and you can question a question. Beautiful English, right? Well done, making it to number one, skeleton. You made it to number one, finally. Levan, two, coffee bear, Dida, Tao, Gal, Mabi, Daisy, Blue, Cole, Trinity, in the top 10. And so close, Rosangela, Sunshine, Peach. Every time you are so close. You finally got it, question, good. To inquire, also good. Inquire, like question, same as inquiry. Well done to you. All right, I have four more verbs and this verb has seven letters. A seven letter verb is what I'm looking for. And the only thing that I will say is a seven letter verb. And that's the only thing I will say. What is the verb? What is the action word? Remember, verb means action. What am I doing? How do you call it? What I'm doing? It is of course called to wa wa whistle. You explain the word please. Every single one that we are doing, I am giving you the explanation. You give me the word. Every single explanation, then the answer is the word. But I will repeat every single verb we did today. I will repeat it after three more verbs. But well done! Is of course to whistle. Whistle. Well done! Miraishki making it to number one. Or Miraishki? Peach, Farah, CPR, 
K, Clurve, Levan, Coffee Bear, Skeleton, Fabi, and Michel. Welcome to the top 10. Well done to you. Well done. Making it into the top 10. You have three more verbs for today. Then you have two more challenges. Lag? Why? <laughs> I will fix the lag after this challenge. Let's fix the challenge first. Let's finish the challenge first. Seven letters is what I'm looking for. A seven letter verb. What is the verb? When you are thinking deeply and looking back. Mabi, thanks so much. Supporting us with the sunglasses. Do I have the sunglasses here? No, I don't. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support, supporting free English for everyone. But what do you call it? What do you call it when you are thinking deeply and looking back? You're like, hmm, what did I do wrong? Where can I do better? A very important action word for learning English. Analyze. Analyze is what you're doing right now with something you have right now. But in this case, I am looking back at something that happened. And it starts with the letter R. R, R, R. To re... What is it? To recall, very close. To remember, very close. You are this far off. Specifically, thinking deeply. Thinking deeply or looking back is, of course, to reflect. To reflect. Well done. Reflect. Like a mirror reflects your image. You can reflect on the things you did. Well done, Farah making it to number one, Melena making it to two, Skeleton, Sally, Trinity, Coffee Bear, Fabi, Jam, a math teacher, JT, and Gal making it to the top ten. <gasps> well done to you. And the Mirai, Cole, Mabi, this close. You have two more verbs. These are your last two verbs, and these are difficult. Let's test. How many verbs do you know? How do you call it? When you are becoming aware of something. How do you call it when you are becoming aware of something? How do you call it when you are becoming aware of something? Starting with the letter P. Not realize you are close. Starting with the letter P, and it has eight letters. Nobody has guessed it so far. It seems like ponder very close. Ooh, somebody typed it. One person has guessed it. But who? <laughs> to become aware of something. And everybody does this in a different way, I can say. How do you call it when you're becoming aware of something? You, of course, call it to per, per, and then something. Eight letters. Yes. Perception has to do with this verb. Perception is a hint. Very well. Perception is the way you see things. And you will always see things differently than somebody else. But perception is not the verb. What is the verb? It is to perceive. To perceive. Well done. You type it down below, you still get the point. Perceive. Dida! You got it before everybody else. Nine seconds before everybody else. Well done, Dida, Peach, Lavan, Tao, Coffee Bear, Chainsmokers, Wishka, Jam, K, 
KC130 and Gal Trinity Ab Evelyn this close <laughs> to perceive. Remember, perception, the way you see things to perceive. This is the last verb of today. And it's a little bit easier than perceive, but it does have eight letters. How do you call it? When you are moving closer to someone or something. How do you call it when you are moving closer to someone or something? You call it to... Yes, maybe to get closer, but how, what is the word to getting closer? There is a specific verb, action word for this. How do you call it? It's a beautiful word. I think it's a beautiful word because you can use it literally and figuratively. For example, if your English is getting better and better, you can say, I am approaching my goal. I am approaching my goal. Um, don't approach your ex. We have talked about this. Um, don't approach your ex, okay? Because then you're going backwards. <laughs> well done, though. Well done. 130 making it to number one. Narul, Levan, Fabi, Clurve, Mirai, Musliminet, Casey, Nanda, Noi, and Skeleton in the top 10. Blue, Cole, Mabi, Trinity. So close. Well done on completing. 24 verbs. <laughs> In these last 12 verbs, you did 2000 comments. So if you didn't make it to the top 10, don't worry. We have two more challenges, which are not verbs. Two more challenges, which are not verbs. How do you feel? First, you got 12 five letter verbs. Not that difficult. And you thought that was it. And then I came in with the long verbs. How do you feel? Were you surprised? Were you excited? How did it make you feel when you got the longer verbs? <laughs> Good? Yeah, Fabi, because you got those, you got the longer ones, right? It gave you a headache. <laughs> We'll do the next challenge in, uh, let's do four minutes. Thank you so much for 69,000 likes. Nice. Thanks so much for 69,000 likes. Thank you too to Blue, Mabi, Jazz, Trinity, Rania, Ayat, Enrique, Sunshine, Barry, Liwad, Davy, Sue, Ria, Elizabeth, 789, and Thai friend for your hearts. Very kind of you to support our free English community. Backwards spelling challenge. Yes, everybody, it is finally back. Backwards spelling challenge, which means I will spell a word for you. All you have to do is write the word. However, you have to listen carefully because I will spell the word from the back. Yes, it's true. I will spell the word from the last letter and you have to do your best to spell it from the front. Do you think you are ready? For challenge number three, backwards spelling challenge. My hint for this challenge is that every single word is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna say that from all the words that I'm gonna give you today, you're gonna know less than half of them. 
you're gonna know less than half of these words because they are funny English words, including gobbledygook. All right, here we go. I will spell the word from the last letter. Follow my finger because I will show you the last letter. Here is the example. This is how it works. If I, for example, say T-A-E-R-G, what do you write starting with the letter G? T-A-E-R-G, what do you write starting with the letter G? You, of course, write the word G, G, great. You see what I'm doing? I'm spelling from the letter T, T-A-E-R-G. You need to start at the beginning. Why do we do this challenge? It's so good for your brain to get those letters in your head, to figure it out, what it means, what it does. You got this, okay? I believe in you. Well done on this first one. I'm not gonna name names. This was the example. Here we go. We are really starting and this is the shortest word of today. Uh, it's a five letter word. A five letter word starting at the back. Y-Z-Z-I-F. What word starts with the letter F? Y-Z-Z-I-F. What's the word that I am spelling from the back? And I can promise you that all of these are real English words. This word means bubbly or adverbs. I don't know how to pronounce this word. It means bubbly. <laughs> what is this word? I have never seen this word in my life. Hold up. The explanation for the word visi. Visi. Yeah, that word, Peach. Effervescent. Effervescent. Visi means bubbly or effervescent. Effervescent. What does effervescent mean? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> it means something that's bubbly <laughs> or forming bubbles. Your cola is effervescent. All right. Here is the next one. Well done to the top 10. L, Peach, Coffee Bear, Dida, Michelle, Armesh, I'm the Queen, Dev, Dream, Chromosome, Neta, Z in the top 10. You think Visi is more difficult than Evervescent? This next word is ridiculous. What six letter word am I spelling from the back? W A F F U G. What word starts with G? Am I spelling from the back? W A F F U G. What is the word from the back? <laughs> what a beautiful English word. W A F F U G. It is, of course, <laughs> who doesn't know this word? Guffle. Who doesn't know the word guffle? Guffle. The word guffle, guys, means to a, a loud and hearty laugh. A loud and hearty laugh. Like, ha, 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 ha. That is a guffle. What a great English word, honestly, I love it. Sala, well done. Blue, Mabi, Jess, Trinity, Rania, Itzmer, Ayat, Enrique, Luzvin, Jazz in the top 10. 
Um, I told you, you will not know these words, but they are real English words. A loud and heartily laugh. A guffa. Guffa. All right. What is the word? I am spelling the word for you. All you have to do is write it down. Except I'm spelling it from the last letter. What is the word? O B M U M. O B M U M. What is the word? Green Passion coming in with the second month of subscription. New subs in the chat after you guess the word. Thank you so much, Green Passion, for your second month of subscription. Corruption. Supporting free English for everyone. O B M U M. What is the word? That is some mumbo jumbo. That is some mumbo jumbo, which means something nonsense or gibberish. When some someone is talking like she, uh, you can say, what is that mumbo jumbo? Mumbo jumbo, nonsense. That is mumbo jumbo. <laughs> well done, mumbo is the word. Take normal words? No, that's the fun for this challenge. They're all just super weird words. Dida. Peach, it's Mer, Little Swallow, L, Cake, Noah, Berry, Z, Chromosome, Clurves. We have a whole new top 10. Congratulations. Congratulations and thank you for your support. <laughs> new hair, new spirit. True. Now you get the weird teacher. All right. What is the word I am spelling from the last letter? E L G G I W E L G G I W What's the word I am spelling for you? <laughs> you know this word, right? Do I need to explain this word with w w w for you? Do I need to explain it for you? To move back and forth with short, quick motions. To move back and forth with short, quick motions is to wiggle, 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 wiggle. You know, you have those, you have those car things that go like. It's not a dog. A dog doesn't wiggle their tail. A dog wags their tail. <laughs> you gotta sleep. Have a good night, Ophelia. Well done. Wiggle, of course. Ron making it to number one. L, Peach, a little swallow, coffee bear, Dida, Daisy, Tao, cake, jazz in the top ten. Well done to you, of course. Dream, Michel, April. So close. So close. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Good idea. You should tap, tap, tap. Make it a hundred. Well done. I like these words. All of these words are fantastic. What word am I spelling to you with five letters? Y. F. O. O. G. Y. F. O O G. What's the word? Hmm. Why? I didn't say W, guys. I said Y. Not a W. Like the letter Y M C A. How is everybody still writing W's? <laughs> Why? F O O G. G G G. 
goofy. The word is goofy. Well done to you. Every single one of these words is goofy. You just mentioned your gifters? No, Ahmed. I am mentioning the top 10 every single time. <sighs> goofy, guys. Not W, but Y. I am saying Y, guys. Did I say W F O O G? Pretty sure you're Y. <gasps> well done to you who made it into the top 10. Gal number one, L, Peach, Denise, Michelle, Tan, It's More, Dida, Daisy, Little Swallow, and Dream in the top 10. Well done to you. What is goofy? Goofy means silly or funny like these words all these words like fizzy gaffa mambo wiggle they are all goofy words goofy words well done though here we go to the next one number six number six and this one is kind of like a slang word i like it i like it a six letter word starting from the back. Y Z Z A N S. Y Z Z A N S. Use lip moisturizer, it doesn't work on my lips. I always try. Not C C. Z Z. Y Z Z E N S. What is the word? It is, of course, sn sn. Uh, peach for you. This mean this means stylish or flashy, like when somebody has like a bright red dress on. This is what we call snazzy, snazzy when somebody is snazzy. <laughs> well done to you. You did do it. Top 10, L, Noah, Coffee Bear, Dida, Daisy, Dream, Kaka, great name, Blue, Lifa, Little Swallow, and Denise in the top 10. Snazzy. When somebody is like really showing off their clothing, you can call them snazzy. I am not snazzy. I am wearing a black t-shirt. I am not snazzy whatsoever. I wear black and white. <laughs> you never heard of snazzy, but you did hear of fizzy? I don't believe you. This next word you have definitely heard of. If you have been practicing English with me, you know this word. And it's gonna, maybe it will be your new favorite word. It is a nine letter word. So pay attention. E L Z O O B M A B. What is the word spelled from the back? E L. Where did it go? Z O O B M A B. I spell the words from the last letter, not the C. <laughs> Z, Z, E L Z O O B M A B. This is my favorite. It's a great word, and I like to do this to you. It means to deceive or cheat, but normally to deceive or cheat in a in a nice way, like a funny way. Like nothing like hurting people. This is more like in this challenge. I can bamboozle you. Bamboozle. <laughs> bamboozle is the word B-A-M-B-O-O-Z-L-E. To bamboozle someone. Normally when kids are tricking each other, you, you say they are bamboozling each other. Bamboozle. Great English word. Honestly. Peach, L, Daisy, Dida, Jazz, Nanda. 
Gal, Nettie, it's Mer, Aikenren, and uh, Blue, well done to you. I am not bamboozling you. They are just funny words. That's it. They are just funny words. There is no bamboozling going on here in any single way. How can you say that? I will give you the easiest word, okay? I'll give you the easiest word of this challenge. Four letters. Y-N-A-Z. Y-N-A-Z. What is the word I'm spelling from the back? Y-N-A-Z. This is a real English word. And no, it is not a One Direction member. It is not Zane, guys, the One Direction member. Zany. It is Zany. Zany. This means comical in an unconventional way. Which means somebody is funny in a weird way. Zany. Zany. <laughs> you are red and sweaty, okay? Come on, it's okay. <laughs> Zany. When somebody is funny in a different way than normal, you can call them Zany. <laughs> Not Zane, as in the One Direction member. Um, well done to you, though. Well done to you. Uh, you. These are all weird ones. Peach, well done. Coffee Bear, Little Swallow, Leeward. Creole, Tan, Armash, Gal, Itzmer, Aikenren, and Blue making it back into the top 10. Well done to you. Well done to you. Zane is my ex, you wish. Um, all right, I'll keep doing the shorter words. I'm looking for the shorter words. Here is a six letter word that you have heard of before. I think. From the back, the last letter is E L D O O D. E L D O O D. So your word starts with the letter D. Tell me, have you heard of this word? Have you heard of this word? Technically, this word doesn't mean just to draw or to scribble. It means to scribble absent-mindedly. <laughs> to scribble absent-mindedly. You want to type absent-mindedly? <laughs> what a great word. Guys, to doodle. Doodle. To doodle means to just draw without thinking, to just scribble without thinking, to scribble absent-mindedly. Scribbling doesn't have to mean absent-mindedly. You can say, let me quickly scribble that. It, that's okay, it doesn't have to mean absent-mindedly. Gal, well done, making it to number one. L, Noah, Creole, Blue, Cake, Trinity, Ron, Nathan, Jenny, Netty. In the top 10. It's Mer, Daisy, ZVL. Well done to you. Well done to you. You made it. With Doodle. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a few more. Here we go. These are the funny random words in a backward spelling challenge. Six letters. Here we go. E L B M U J. E L B M U J. And remember, these are all real English words. <laughs> these are all real English words. And this word means a confused mixture or medley. A confused mixture, mixture or medley. Sorry, I mispronounced. <laughs> 
Can somebody try and put it in a sentence? To jumble? Jumble? To jumble? <laughs> See you later, coffee bear. Have a good night. Sleep well. Thank you, Vivi, for the hearts. Very kind of you. Jumble. L making it to number one. Nathan, number two. Denise in the top three. Jenny, Peach, Trinity, Jazz, Little Swallow, Casey, C Cake, and Ashon. Well done to you, making it to the top ten. Chainsmokers, Dream, and Nanda. So close, so close to you. Jumble. Can a room be a jumble? I guess so. I guess so. You need to jumble three jobs a day? That doesn't sound uh, easy to do. That does not sound easy to do. All right. Here is one of my favorite words. And if you've watched the live stream, you know this is one of my favorite words. From the back, eight letters. A H A H U O R B <laughs> A H A H U O R B <laughs> What an amazing English word. This guys is a real English word. Brew haha. Brew haha is a real English word. Brew haha, guys, means exactly what you think it means. It means a noisy or overexcited reaction or response to something. You know, when you see those live streamers and they're like, oh, you're so funny. That's brew haha. When somebody is overly reacting to something, you you can call them out for their brew haha. Brew haha. <laughs> what a great English word. I mean, yeah, I'm using Google Translate for the pronunciation. Brew haha. Just to check. Brew haha. Well done, well done, L. Making it to number one, Trinity, you remembered. Good job. Did I now, Raya, Blue, Chainsmokers, Dream, Cake, Peach, and Pearl. Welcome back to the top 10. Nubesita, Nanda, Denise. Well done to you. Brew, haha. What a great English word. <laughs> I will repeat all the words at the end of this challenge, which is in two more words. Guys, you got two more words. That's it. Two more words in this um, in this very uh, how do I call this challenge? A jumbled mess, a mumbo ju mumbo jumbo challenge. I am looking for a five-letter word: vacuum cleaning, drying the hair. Um, here we go. A five-letter word is what I'm looking for. From the back, Y L L I S. Y L L I S, not W Trinity. Y L L I S. Yeah. Yeah. Not Sally. What? I am saying Y L L I S. I'm not saying A. Listen, I, I, A, A, Y, L, L, I, S. That's from the last letter. You need to write it from the S, which is, of course, C, C, silly, silly. It was easy. I just wanted to say, maybe you think this challenge is silly. <laughs> How do you know what I wrote on paper? Hey. You thought you were fast enough? When you think that, you will never be. 
Silly, well done, Peach, Farah, Ron, Casey, Avrielli, Now, Dream, El Creole, Ashawn, and Michelle in the top 10. Silly, a silly challenge. Carol, Nathan, Tao, this close to the top 10. This is your last chance with some silly words. And this word I have never in my life seen. I have never seen this word in my life. So good luck to you. From the backs, eight letters. S K O O Z D A G. S K O O Z D A G. I have never in my life seen this word. Let me see, how do I pronounce this word? <laughs> what a weird word, <laughs> honestly. Google Translate doesn't know how to pronounce it. Luckily, YouTube knows. YouTube knows how to pronounce it. It means it is an exclamation of surprise or annoyance. It is an exclamation of surprise or annoyance. Gadzooks. 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 That's a weird way of saying it. Are you sure? It's Gadzooks. Gadzooks. <laughs> what a weird word. Gadzooks. Yeah, Gadzooks. <laughs> An exclamation of surprise or annoyance. <gasps> ah, that's Gadzooks. <laughs> How weird. How weird. We cannot end on a weird word like this. This is some crazy English. I'll give you one more, okay? Gadzooks, G A D Z O O K S. Well done. L, good student, Dida, Kaka, forget, French fries, now, Liwat, Sunshine, Raya, Nibat, in the top 10. It sounds like a Scooby-Doo word. Yes, exactly. Raya, Avrieli, Rosie, well done to you. It must be a Scooby-Doo word. If it sounds like a Scooby-Doo word, it must be a Scooby-Doo word. We are gonna end with a word that has to do with English learning. We're gonna have, we're gonna finish with a word that has to do with English. Because it is a six letter word from the last letter. E-L-B-B-A-B. E-L-B-B-A-B. -B -B. What is the word that I am spelling for you? Cheers. The word that I am spelling from you for from the back. E is the last letter. L B B A B. This means to talk rapidly or continuously in a foolish or excited way. When somebody is talking rapidly and continuously in a foolish or excited way, they just keep on going and going and going. They are just babbling to babble. Babbling, just like the app for learning English, Babble. <laughs> That's the app name, right? Now you know what it means. Babble, to talk rapidly and continuously in a foolish or excited way. Babble, B-A-B-B-L-E. Well done, L, Peach, Trinity, Nathan, Carol, Gina, Nao, Kagananda, Denise, and it's Mer. But of course, also well done to all the other people whom are Dida, Armesh, Nefisha, Raya. Well done to you. Well done to Dream, Good Student, Nubisita, Michel, Little Swallow, Anna Maria, Creole, Nipat, Avriali, Ida, Vanessa, Luna, Kartika. Akinren, Barry, Rosie, Amarily, JT, Raya, Longest Star, Chinese Friend, Blue, Rania, Forget, Mutalep, 
Al Rosas, Ellen, Vivi, Ron, Sela, French Fries, Browse, Enbar, Enna, Pearl, Renaren, Giselia, Yo, Jose, 2F, Tao, Lyric, Surya, Leewood, uh, Rosangela, Jimin BTS, uh, Ya, Nayan, Jorge, Nemesis, Romelan, Julia, or Julia, Christina, Valeria, Jira, Toto, Daisy, Andrea, Tanri, Monica, Liza, Alina, Fiorella, Sylvia, Juedi, or Judy, uh, Dwen Pen, Hung, and Alexia! Oh! Thank you for doing the challenge with me. I appreciate you. Thank you <laughs> for doing the third challenge with me. Don't go anywhere, we have one more challenge. Oh, what did you think of that challenge? Backward spelling, it's finally back. After so many weeks of you being afraid of it, you just did it. The last challenge is easier, so don't worry about it. I wouldn't give you a bad challenge as the last challenge. The last challenge is like a 50-50. How are you doing guys? I hope you're doing well. This is, uh, if this is your first day, we do this every Wednesday and Saturday. If you like to break your brain learning English, every Wednesday and Saturday, a challenge day. Um, we have one more challenge, which is gonna take half an hour. I hope you are doing well. Uh, where are we gonna walk this Sunday? Well, we walk last Sunday. I don't know if we're gonna take another walk. <laughs> we'll see, okay? We will see. Maybe we'll do some behind the scenes. Who knows? I will repeat the words just now for you, okay? I'll repeat all the words that we did. We did Vizi, which means bubbly or something that is bubbly, like cola is fizzy. Uh, goa which is a loud and hearty laugh, like ha ha ha. Mumbo, as in mumbo jumbo, means nonsense. Wiggle, that's wiggling. Girls on TikTok, wiggle. Um, goofy means silly or funny in a goofy way. Snazzy means stylish or, or um, fl flashy. Bamboozle means to deceive or cheat, but in a funny way. Um, doodle means to scribble absent-mindedly. Just ah, to doodle. A jumble is a confused mixture. It's a confused mixture or medley. Brouhaha is of course a noisy or overexcited reaction. Silly means of course just to show a lack of good sense or judgment. Gazooks is an exclamation of surprise or annoyance. Babble, to talk rapidly and continuously in a foolish way. And uh, zany or zany, comical in an unconventional way. <gasps> we survived the hardest challenge of today. Thank you for the follows. That is how you learn English for free every single day. These are real English words. 